Hello, in this tutorial, let us show you a step-by-step -step how to get a host in your account with a GoDaddy domain. We have known Hostinger for many years and that is why we picked them for this tutorial. Make sure you stay until the end of the video so we can show you how to get a discount code and get real value here. First, let's go to hostinger.com and select login. And if you don't have an account yet, click on choose a hosting plan below in the link towards the bottom. The easiest way for you to sign up is by using your external account using Gmail, Facebook, or GitHub. Now let's take a look at your options. What's the best plan for you? It all depends on how complex your site is, meaning if you will be having a lot of images, a database or e-commerce functionalities, maybe you want to look at these two options. How many company emails do you want to have? That's also something that you need to choose carefully. If you just want a very simple site, landing page style, um, you might look at this option. Can you upgrade from the basic plan to any other after your website is done? Absolutely, yes. Make sure to scroll down and click see all features so you can see exactly what you're getting. Notice that all of the plans are WordPress friendly so you can migrate your WordPress site into Hostinger too. For this example, I am choosing the basic plan. Click select and they even offer a 30 day money back guarantee. For four years or 48 months, you will only pay about $95. But if you want to stay within a one or two year plan, just check these choices. These prices are of course as of the time of the recording. Finish creating your account by typing your email or using your external Google, Facebook or GitHub account. Enter your payment information and see that we saved $180 for the two year plan instead of paying monthly. After you complete all of the payment information, you're getting a page just like this one, where you need to create a strong password to log in into your host in your account. Make sure that it is at least eight characters long with a combination of symbols, numbers, and uppercase letters, like you see on the checklist right here. Enter the password twice, top and bottom, click confirm to continue. Now let's press start now to begin the website setup. If you're setting up your website for your business, click the first option. Choose the best option and in this example, we will pick online store. Right here they ask you how much experience you have creating websites to suggest the best tools later on. We will go with the beginner option for this demo. This is where you can choose how to start. For this option, we will choose WordPress WooCommerce. Look for to the right because in here you can also migrate your website, which we will cover in a totally separate video. Now let's create a strong password for your WordPress account. This is where the website magic and editing happens. Click continue. Based on our answers, hosting your suggesting these beautiful templates. We can totally change them later on. Make sure that you click preview on each one so you pick the right template for your business. Before doing this video, we already checked them all and decided to go with this clean and simple template called Simply Natural. Click select and continue on the upper right hand corner once you're ready with your selection. If you need a brand new domain, this process is super easy in hosting your and similar to the steps that we went through before. You probably saw the message on top, but don't worry. This is because we have been going back and forth while record recording this video. Moving on, chances are that you probably bought your domain already. Let's choose this option because we got a domain from GoDaddy to complete this section. Let's type it here and click continue. No need to enter the www prefix in here. This new section appears with your domain information and click continue. It's very important to make sure that the server location is closed or in your country. Change any of the settings by clicking on the little pencil. Click finish, set up to continue. You will see multiple screens like this one while the site is set up. Great, this is the page we were waiting for. We are going to connect the domain because it's in GoGoDaddy, but you could also skip that and start making changes right away if you want by clicking in the WordPress dashboard. The second choice. When we connect the domain, this is what we need to complete. 
press let's start and take a picture or screenshot of this important information because we will need it when we go to GoDaddy. Do not log out from Hostinger. Open another tab for GoDaddy.com. Log in there and select my products, then my domain to continue. On the very top menu, select DNS, then manage zones to change its settings. Click on the domain name, tutoriashop.com, one more time. Go back to your screenshot or picture, and this is what Hostinger is asking you to change in the DNS settings. Keep scrolling down, though. Major warning in this process is that your website might not be seen for about 48 hours, so plan ahead. We're working here with a brand new site, so it's okay. This is where you're going to press change, and you are going to select the advanced feature. You are here getting all the warnings in the world, so check the spelling and click save when done. Click yes on the checkbox and continue. And just a quick reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep creating more free content. While the DNS is changing, you can continue working in Hostinger. Let's go back now. Since we left the Hostinger account open in a separate tab, let's click continue. Now just click on the X on the top right to exit. Click under Manage WordPress. On the far right, select Edit Website. On the upper left-hand corner, select Dashboard, and that's it. You can start making changes. If you need help with any of these steps, let us know in the comments below. And you can also get a 10% discount in Hostinger by checking the link in the description. We hope this tutorial was helpful and let us know your feedback below. Thank you for watching.